Hello everyone, I'm the Blackblade, and I want to talk about uh, pushing, pushing links, phishing links, I'm not sure you said. The idea is someone is going to try to hack your account, and this is a very common thing, it's going on a lot in Steam, and you should be able to look on for this, okay, because people might do it to you any day, and it can be even someone you know. Because they get hacked, and then they do it because without them knowing, oh, well, they, they, they are hacked account and they can't tell you because they don't have interest in their account. Now how it works and most of the time I understand and how this happened to me today is, hey my friend can't add you, please add him, he wants to trade you. This is a message I got from my friend. And then he gives me a link to the friend's profile. This is the, I open the link, this way I get. Okay, it all looks fine. Now a few things to notice. Number one is I'm am logged in on my browser, yet over here I'm not logged in. First rule is do not log in to given sites. That means if someone gives you a link to someone's profile or whatever, never log in there. Even if PayPal doesn't matter what it is, never log in on the page. Always open a new tab and log in in that. Because it might be a fake site. Second of all, if you log here, you can see the community is spelled wrong. And that's because, of course, this is a fake site and it doesn't have the original URL. Everything else, by the way, is really working. If I open the store or anything else, this is actually going to open the real store and all that stuff. Still looking good. Except that, and that's the thing you should really be careful of this. Now, what most people, of course, are going to do is going to try to add the guy. So they're going to push on add friend. And because they're not logged in in a fake sentence, it's going to give them a login page. Now, of course, if you want to log in, you will go and press. You will go and write your username. Yeah, I'm just putting X's there because I don't really care. I'm just trying to spam the poor guy so you can't get any real accounts here. And password, you put whatever you want. So, in this case, I'm going to put password because I don't want to give him any real password or mistakenly give him someone the cold X X X X X X X X X. So. Now another thing, on the login page, unlike the community page before, you should notice this. Now this is on a real Steam site, and like you can see by the way, it's just the same, even that this is, isn't is spell wrong, because they probably update over time. Just think. Okay, so I can see how, how long ago about that was. Anyway, uh, you can see on the real Steam site, you have this showing you that the site is uh, secure, and I think I, of course, not have that. Okay, so I'm going to press sign in. Now, of course, all the information there is completely wrong, yet it's going to try to download a file to me. Now, I'm going to cancel this of course, because I don't want that. It's probably a virus, number one, and number two, it could be a file that probably steals my information to allow them to log into my Steam account without. You uh, waiting for Steam Guard. This is the way to bypass Steam Guard. This is one of the ways they do it. Another way is they're going to ask you to put put in the Steam Guard number. So again, don't do it. Of course, never log in on pushing sites. Never log in a given site. Always log in by yourself on a different page that you open by yourself. Never open the deal page. Uh, second of all, I can see you can give you download files. Third way to do it is to tell you to upload the file again. It's a fake file. It's a file from your, your Steam Guard, and that's how you steal your account. Don't upload the file, of course. Basically, Steam will never ask you to upload the file or download the file. Okay, like this. They won't, wouldn't do that. Okay, that's not a way to act. So, as you know that, okay, because in the end, you don't need your Steam any Steam file to log into Steam. If this is ever going to change, I'm going to change this, but right now, that's the truth right now, and there's no point of logging into this, okay? So, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's more stuff. I'm going to put a... Well, <laughs> can't close it. Anyway, I'm going to give a link on, the bo on my description about a guide someone made, a thing called Jimbo or Jimbo or something, on Steam that made a very nice guide, and which is camps to be careful. I mean, it's not only this, it's many more stuff. But the idea is, you know, guys, be careful, look out for this. And this, by the way, is not only Steam. You can also send you an email. It could come from even a real Steam site. There's all kind of stuff you should watch out. Be careful and take your time and learn this stuff. Because if you're not going to start, one day you might lose a lot of money in it and it's just, you know, nobody's to do it. 
and support doesn't really give so much help of this because you did do a mistake over there you should have been careful uh, they say they give a one time your items back but it's not worth to try uh, it's not worth to even fall to this risk and the past they use the thing to give more but as this is going on too much already they decide to slow down so this is my warning to you guys I hope this helps someone and you will not fall to any scam like this uh, if you can you know share that information to new users you know, don't give them the video but just explain to them what to be careful of to watch out for the stuff because people will try to scam you all the time and the only way to really kill this out and make them stop is simply but by not allowing them to do it if we can stop them from scamming anyone and it wouldn't become worth for them because they have to buy the URL for example, and there's all kinds of other stuff they need to do. If we can block them from any, ever earning anything out of this, they're going to simply stop because it's not going to be worth it. So I hope this helps again, and goodbye, game on, Blackblade.